All right, what was the most encouraging part of the M's opening week? Uh, well, for me, a couple things. The, the first start from George Kirby was phenomenal, was fantastic. I mean, to shut out a team, win a game one to nothing on a J.P. Crawford home run, that was huge. Logan Gilbert's first start, we'll see what he looks like on the road, but those two starts were fantastic. And then offensively, I think a lot of people bailed on Ty France last year, oddly enough. Uh, he had been pretty damn good for this team, and then last year was a rough year, and a lot of people are like, get rid of him, you need a new first baseman. So I think him coming out with a now six-game hitting streak, they've played seven games, so let's keep it in context. But just to see him making contact, looking comfortable at the plate, going the other way with the ball, being Ty France, a guy that you have to play straight up. He's not a pull hitter. He's not strictly opposite field. You have to play him straight up and to see him doing what he's doing at the plate. And then Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger, a guy that, that everybody knows, everybody's familiar with what he's capable of when he's healthy. And you're seeing it right away. You're seeing him have an impact. You're seeing him look comfortable at the plate. And you, you sort of, uh, as a Mariner fan, kind of daydream about, man, if he stays healthy, what a huge asset for that lineup. So those, those were the things on the positive side that stuck out for me. What was the least encouraging part of the M's opening week? Uh, I mean, listen, there were a lot of things that went wrong. To me, they're all correctable. You know, the, the pitching, I don't worry about. I mean, Luis Castillo didn't look like the ace in his first two starts. Uh, obviously, Bryce Miller didn't look awesome. Uh, one, actually, one other positive I would throw in there is Emerson Hancock. Now, I know he, he comes in as your five guy. He's your five, fifth starter, so you're not expecting him to come in and be locked down. You just needed five innings out of him and, and keep your team in the game, and he gave you a little bit more than that. So I was, that was a big positive for me, to see him come in, his fourth major league start, and come in there, give up three runs. He goes five and a third and, and look pretty good. He gave your team a chance as the fifth starter, so that was a positive. Um, the other guys, you know, Seeing the second start out of George Kirby was discouraged. That was not good. I don't, I'm not panicking. I don't think that's who he is, but it was just that, that whole game was bad because it was an awful start. They couldn't hit. And the one thing that stuck out to me in the seven games has been the defense. That's in your control. Yeah, sometimes you're going to get a bad hop. Sometimes, you know, somebody's going to scald a ball and it's going to be a tough play, but there are routine plays that they would normally make that they didn't make. And, and defensively, that, for me was the most disappointing thing because again you're 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 in control for the most part in in those situations and it just looked it looked sloppy they were sloppy i mean scott service said it himself it was just they didn't play a lot of clean baseball so that that for me was was more of a concern i don't the hitting is going to come around i believe the pitching i know will come around this is if it's not the best five man rotation in baseball it's in the top two or three so i i don't have any any uh lack of faith in, the, in their ability to, to turn it around. But the defense just kind of bothered me. I thought that was like, come on, man. You, you guys are in control of this part. What's your level of panic with this team right now? Zero. Zero. It's seven games. It, it's, listen, I don't, I don't blame any fan that gets upset with what they're watching. All we have is seven games to go on. And it hasn't been that pretty. There hasn't been a lot to cling to in the way of positivity. So I, told, I don't begrudge any fan who's mad, who's like, what, what am I watching? Totally get it. But if you've been a baseball fan for any length of time, you get that this is, there's 155 games to go here. So, yeah, there's there's zero panic. Are there things I'm watching? I'm like, all right, let's see this offense. Let's, let's see what it ultimately is going to be. Let's see this defense correct itself. Again, I don't worry about the pitching. Um, but to anybody who's panicking after seven games, it's going to be a long season for you. You you got to pace yourself, man. It's, there's a lot, there's just way too much of the season left. And you know, if you equate it to a football season, I think Scott Service said we're like at the halftime of the first game. I don't even think it's that far into a football season. So the idea of of jumping ship at this point, and going, ah, oh, I knew it, they stink. That's that's not being realistic. And then lastly, what do you need to see from this team over the next week? I just, I need to see, first of all, I need to see the defense. Con I need to see them control what they can control. And you started to see it with their approach at the plate. You saw a little more discipline up there. I mean, the strikeouts are not great. And you saw that start to tail off. And then the last game wasn't awesome. Uh, but they need to control the things they can. And that means their approach at the plate and their defense. Their, their defense to me was, was just 
for whatever reason, it just seemed like they weren't as focused or they're out there running into each other and, and things happen, but it just, it happened too often in that seven game stretch. So I need a more cohesive game out there. If you lose, but you played clean baseball, you gave yourself a chance and you didn't beat yourself. Okay. That's going to happen. You know, in a brilliant season, you win 95 to hundred games. That means you lose 62 to 67 times. There's going to be those nights, so I'm not going to, you know, go crazy over a loss. But don't beat yourself. That's what I want to see from them is just see a more cohesive, clean brand of baseball. And I think the road trip came at a perfect time. I think they needed the day off. I think getting out of the state, getting into a different building, different scenery, they can kind of bond on the road. So I'm expecting uh, a better product on this road trip.